Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and this is a quick video to show you how to load a film in uh, Hasselblad camera, Sabri 5. Uh, this is a 503, uh, 503 CW, but it will work for any 500 series. Okay, let's start. First of all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash See my website, erichibo.com. And if you have any question, you can send me an email to info at erichibo.com. Let's start. So I'm going to explain you how to load a film in uh, A12 uh, back. Okay, this is an automatic back. Uh, this is the latest generation. As you can see, there is a plastic holder in the back where you can put the slide in there. So to open, you must move the small button okay and then you pull out the chassis okay the the back okay well this is these are there are two parts okay first before i show you there is a slide there and this slide can actually go in the back there okay well like this okay before having this, people used to put this in their back uh, back pocket, and if you sit down, you just uh, ruin it. Okay, so to open it, you must lift this, turn, and then you get the inside part, the insert outside. Well, you always need an empty spool. Okay, this is empty because I already shot uh, one film in there. So first, I have to release it and place it in the upper part you see how Hasselblad is written well this is the upper part you put it in there you lift this okay and there it is okay the first thing to do is get this if you haven't got an empty spool you must get one okay if you buy uh, a second hand uh, pack uh, it should have an empty spool in there otherwise you must get one okay so you open the film this is for me the harder part the hardest part to open this okay you take the film out this is a portra 400 120 the type it means 12 poses 12 pictures okay and we're going to mount it in front of this okay as you can see when you move this this part lifts and then when you you turn it back it it lowers okay this is to make sure the film is flat okay so the film goes there and it's going to move this way and sp and gets uh, spooled on the other side okay so you must remove this small paper make sure all this paper is out because it could get in in your film after uh, when, while you use it use it okay so you have to place it there this way okay so you place it in there there are some uh, spaces you, you will see you cannot mix up there because uh, it get placed really tight because there is some uh, some gaps in there okay the black side you must see it if you put it the paper side then you will be exposing the the paper instead of the film it's important that it just passes under this metal place then you open it completely there is a slot in there you place it in there it's it can jump out okay as you can see it can jump out okay so you place it okay and then you hold it with your finger and then you turn this way okay as you can see you turn you turn you turn okay you keep turning as you can see there's a small red arrow there okay so you keep turning you wind until this black arrow on your paper matches the red one so the first part is ready okay you can actually place the insert as you can see if you press it this lowers and keeps the film flat okay as you can see okay so you can place it in there okay then you close okay as you can see now this is 
half white, half red. Before it was red because there was no film in there. Still, I have to see a number in there, number one. So I lift this, I turn. This is automatic, it will stop by itself when I reach the number one. Okay, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, it will stop by itself. Okay, yep. Okay, if it's not in the right place, you can turn back a bit to place it per perfect, okay? Okay, as you can see, it's number one and the white dot next to it. It means it's ready, okay? Here, as you can see, you can now place it in the body, okay? I recommend you move the button always because if you slap it, uh, you will ruin the mechanism, okay? As you can see, it is ready. Okay, ready to make pictures. That's simple. Also, don't forget to place a small paper in there to make sure you know what film is in there. You, if you haven't got the small cardboard that came with the box, you can actually, uh, the film box, you can actually place the small paper that I took off the film. So at least I know what kind of film it is, okay? As you can see, this is white. This means there is a film in there, otherwise it would be red. Uh, this is an automatic uh, back. It means it's very easy to load. The older version, you have to see, uh, look through a small window in the back to see the number that appears on the back of the film. I don't recommend that kind of, of, of back because uh, they're harder to load. I recommend you get uh, this version, the automatic one. It, has, it doesn't have to be the latest version, but on automatic anyway, it, it's a lot easier. Well, I hope you liked it. It was useful to you. Thank you for watching it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash My website, ericgibault.com. My email, info at ericgibault.com. My Facebook, facebook.com slash photo. My Instagram, ericgibo. My Twitter, ericgibo. My Google Plus Press, ericgibo. Here we are in my van. Soon I will show you around. Okay. Uh, it's a bit messy because I took everything out to make pictures. Okay. Okay. Bye.